It is my pleasure to present this coveted award to Ellie Reiser. Like Patty Stalen, I'm very humbled and very honored to be accepting this award. And you know, I've been thinking that I really believe that every realtor in this room today should be called Realtor of the Year because we survived 2013. We've turned the corner, and I'd like to think we've turned the corner on the roughest and most challenging real estate period that most of us have experienced in our careers. So let's give ourselves a hand. I am thrilled to have the three most important men in my life here today. Many of you know them, so we had to kind of keep this top secret. I can now shed my poker face, pun intended, we are in a casino after all. And they have, I believe on cue, walked into the back of the room. First of all, I want to thank my husband, Ed. We'll be married 40 years in August. And when I started in real estate 27 years ago, he was in the field of sales training. So I was constantly peppered with what I call Ed Riserisms. First of which was, fake it till you make it. <laughs> Secondly, you gotta spend money to make money. And he wisely counseled me in both my Massachusetts career and Cincinnati career to take a loan from a life insurance policy and use that pot of money however I needed to without worry. And I think probably our family favorite is the phrase, often wrong, but never in doubt. And so Ed, wherever you are, I've got lights in my eyes. I thank you for your years of support and help. And next, it's oh, nice, thank you. Next up is my oldest son, Nick. Nikki, where are you? Oh, they're over there, all right, all right. I haven't touched him yet. He literally just flew in from New York. Flight was a little late, so I'm glad you're here. When Nick, uh, Nick was also, I didn't get to see the pictures, he's also the daddy to the three adorable children that probably filtered through some of the pictures. But when Nick was in college, he gave me a Christmas present. And it sits on my desk at work today, and it's a clock with the inscription, schedule your priorities, mom. Well, gosh, how hard is that for us to do in this business? But once in a while, we have to take a break, and maybe the priority at that moment is to have coffee with a friend that needs to talk, or to schedule an appointment with our spouse to be home and touch our house, cook and eat a nutritious meal for once, and have some time together. So Nick, I just want to remind you that I look at that every single day, and you have helped me to schedule my priorities and ask myself many times throughout the day, What's the most important thing I need to be doing right now? So I thank you for that, Nick. And then last, I have the baby of the family, Nate, who flew in yesterday from Miami. And he is totally freezing, as you can well imagine. <laughs> I've bumped the heat up about six degrees in our house, so I'm boiling and he's still cold, but so thrilled to have him here. And Christmas Eve of 2005, Nate and I stayed up way late talking after our annual Christmas Eve party, complete with Santa who comes in person. And he challenged me and said, Mom, it's not enough to stroke a check and pat yourself on the back and feel good about giving back to the community. You have to get involved. You have to put in the time. So that led me to researching what I might do. And I said, Nate, what am I going to do? What could I do? Well, Mom, you love to go to movies, and I'm, I know that there are kids out there that would love to have someone take them to a movie. That led me to the Cincinnati Youth Collaborative. 
And actually on this very day, eight years ago, the Circle of Excellence luncheon, I was paired with the lovely Makisa McCoy, she was eight years old, at Washington Park School, and our lunch was right across the way at Music Hall. And she's now 16, going on 39. <laughs> would be very happy to be here today and offered to take off school, but I didn't think that would be such a good thing and a good, uh, good example for her. She's on track to graduate from high school and to go to college, and I'm very proud of her. And so, Nate, I want to thank you for spurring me to jump into outside of the box a little bit and getting involved in a way that I hadn't been otherwise. I want to thank, certainly, my Comey and Shepard family who have been wonderfully supportive. I love you all and my incredible office and colleagues. Thank you for all that you have done for me. I want to thank my assistant, Judy Majeski, who, gosh, I've had to keep a poker face for a long time. She knows my boys and my husband who's had my back for 12 years, so thank you for all of that. I also want to thank my Star One family, who for 16 years nurtured and helped my career, and especially the wisdom and guidance of our beloved George Meinhardt, and I thank them for that. I think if you're sitting here as a Circle of Excellence member today, you are blessed. I think we could all acknowledge that. And I believe personally that we are all mandated to give back to our families, to our industry, and to our communities. Winston Churchill said, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. I want to encourage everyone here today to think about what you might do to give back. Come join us on Realtors with Heart. Lori Leonard would be happy to have you on the committee. It's a roll up your sleeves and get busy and help us train the next 600 people and save a life in Cincinnati. And as I like to say these days, if Michael Hinckley can take time to be a director and put in that time, all of us can find a little bit of time to give back within our industry and communities. Thank you very much. This award will be treasured. Now, I hate to go backwards, but I forgot to turn the page when I announced her. I was so intent on clapping for her as she came up, I forgot to read her bio, so I'm going to do it real quick. She's been a licensed realtor since 87. She began her career in Massachusetts and Connecticut, and then her career in Cincinnati in 93. She's been a member of the CABR Circle of Excellence since 1996. This year marks her 18th year in the COE. She started her term on the Board of Directors this year. She's been active in numerous committees at the CABR, and in her spare time, as she mentioned, she's a, men a mentor with the Cincinnati Youth Collaborative, where she earned outstanding volunteer in 2012. She also volunteers monthly with Tender Mercies in Over the Rhine and yearly at the board's Operation Suns Sunshine Picnic at Camp Allen. Thank you again, Ellie. All right then, so back to why we're here. Into the real rarefied air now, on to the fifth level. Here are the honorees with us today. They will be coming from their seats.